Tadi du 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 The Act of Killing is a film in which former death squad leaders who've been in, in power ever since they helped the army of Indonesia kill a million people in 1965 are invited to dramatize what they've done as a way of understanding what happens to all of us when we build our normality on the basis of terror and lies. And these men set about reenacting their acts of genocide, acts of mass murder, in dramatizations inspired by the film genres that they love. Gangster, musical, cowboy, western, and along the way, the main characters in the film go through an emotional journey where they start to understand that the filmmaking process becomes the prism through which they finally recognize the true meaning of what they've done. I began this film in collaboration with a community of survivors of the 1965 Indonesian genocide. The killers were never removed from power. They never were overthrown. In fact, they won. They mythologized the violence as something heroic, and they've been in power ever since. The aim of culture, politics, morality is to prevent these things from happening again. And I felt I have an obligation to respond as seriously as I can to this horrific situation of the perpetrators still being in power and not being challenged in their version of, of history. Cuma ini, kalau saya melihat ya, kalau sukses kita bikin ini film, menyatakan bahwa film G30 SPKI yang lulu, PKI kejam, tidak kejam. Mengapa musi sejarah itu disimpan simpan orang kenyataan memang begitu gitu. One of the survivors with whom I was working said, "Josh, film the killers. They live in the same village as where where you're staying, and they boast about what they did, about how they killed our relatives. Film them, and the audience will see in their boasting exactly why we're so afraid." Datang sini sehat. I think fundamentally I lingered on Anwar because his pain was close to the surface. When he would talk about what he did, it was as though he was shadowed by genuine memories that were haunting him. There's a key moment at the beginning of the film where he takes me to the place where he's killed. He shows me how he killed with wire by strangling people. Then he starts dancing the cha-cha-cha where he's killed, maybe you know, hundreds, maybe a thousand people. He's in total denial of the moral meaning of what happened in that spot. Jadi, saya menghilangkan itu, saya usahakan dengan musik enak, saya bisa nari, iya kan? Caca. <laughs> and so begins a process of refinement and embellishment where these simple reenactments with Anwar and his friends become these kind of grotesque, surreal, beautiful, phantasmagoric dramatizations. The engine of that embellishment is in fact Anwar's own conscience in the hope by making it beautiful in the film he can somehow make it okay for himself. Epson, as free as I think it's really important to understand that the method of the film is a response to their openness. But I think the method does something very special, which is to make the invisible visible. Where once there was just this surface reality, now there's this whole spectrum of colors that were not previously visible. And the colors are simply the stories that we tell ourselves, the kind of half-remembered, second-hand, third-rate scripts by which we make our world and by which we know ourselves. Nonton film berduaan sama pacar beli karcis tahu-tahu kehabisan. But I would also say that the film is a mirror held up to all of us that this is not about a distant reality far off in Southeast Asia where 
killers of one. All of our societies are built on mass violence, and this reality in Indonesia is not a distant reality, it's the underbelly of our reality. Apa dosa, Mas saya? 